Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Terraforma Craft. Um, it's been a little while since uh, the end of last episode. I've worked a bit more on the house, did some off-camera work. Um, you'll notice I kind of took down the thatch hut, uh, put up, used the thatch to build a roof, and uh, secured the walls. So I'll just kind of show you what we got going on. So we have kind of a staircase. We have this main room up here. I don't know. I'm thinking some pillars, windows. You get the idea. Uh, I think though today, um, I'd like to go look for. Uh, I just like to kind of explore. I'd like to collect the elderberries. Um, I think my goal though would be to find some sheep. Um, if I can get, I mean, I'd really like to bring some sheep back, but. Um, because I have a few uh, things I need them for, but if anything, just the uh, the wool for a bed. So I think today we're gonna go out and uh, look for some sheep. So first things I think uh, first thing I think I want to do is head over to the farm, stock up on some water, actually fill the bucket up I think, and then uh, and then we'll go out. Crops seem to be doing nicely. Alright, let's go. I guess we're gonna head uh, northwest. Or, well, I guess north in general, but yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll see. Ooh, dangerous. Gotta be careful there. Oh, hello. Uh, it's a good idea to always get experience when you can. Um, just because uh, every level, uh, your health, hunger, and thirst increase the uh, maximums. Um, for health, it's by 20, so at level 4, I have an extra 80, uh, 80 health. So that's nice. So, uh, some information on sheep. Sheep spawn in uh, relatively cooler climates, in um, high hills or mountains. Uh, they do not; they, they won't uh, appear in plains. So, if you're looking for sheep, you have to go to the mountains or mountainy, hilly area. You won't find them. Um, I had a few uh, comments asking about how climate works um, based on the uh, the map. So the way that latitude works in TFC is that the uh, the z-axis, the north-south in Minecraft, uh, equates to a latitude position on an imaginary globe. Um, obviously, we can't have a real globe because uh, this if uh, you know anything about geometry, but um, we have a, uh, a globe where zero, the zero on the z-axis is the equator and negative 30,000 is the north pole just because that's how uh, that's how Minecraft does north-south. But um, uh, so negative 30,000 is the north pole, 30,000 is the south pole, and uh, your latitude is somewhere, so your latitude uh, will be somewhere between there. You can see that mine is, um, well, we're heading north. It's around 12,900 right now. So if you want to imagine that on a scale out of 30,000, 15,000 would be 45 degrees. Uh, 12,000 is, I guess, um, like 36 degrees. 13, but we're closer to 13,000. Uh, it's not a perfect analog of the Earth, um, because, you know, how, I mean, when I was designing this, I was just wondering, how do you make an equation that can, you know, spit out a temperature for a given time of year, like a pheasant, based on just latitude? It's, it's rather complicated. I tried to, to work something out, but it's, it's only a, uh, an approximation. 
of what might be considered a realistic uh, climate. Um, the, uh, for example, the equator is a lot hotter in terraforma craft than you might expect in the real world. It's pretty much all desert. Wow. Um, ooh, we have uh, hematite. Actually, I want to mark this. Ooh, that's not how you spell hematite. Right. So, uh, you're, you'll usually spawn somewhere between, I think, like 4,000 and 15,000, uh, negative Z. Um, 4,000 is kind of stretching it. You'll get uh, quite hot climates in the high 30s, low, mid to high 30s Celsius, which is, um, well, I don't know, 80s or 90s Fahrenheit, something like that. Uh, whereas, but and you, you probably won't experience the seasons very much, or rather, winter will uh, winter will appear very close to summer. I mean, I, I kind of just wasted that blueberry, but I'm not really interested in those right now. Um, the colder climates, you'll experience seasons like where I am. I'm almost definitely going to see snow and ice on the ground in the winter. Uh, I don't know. It's it's a little. I mean, yeah. There there will definitely be advantages and disadvantages to living in the different climates. Right now, um, colder climates you can't really grow crops in the uh, in the winter, but uh, your food won't decay as fast. So it's. Personally, I enjoy uh, living in the colder areas just because I like seeing the seasons change. That's just me. Alright, so we're still heading north, looking for some sheep. I uh, picked up some oats because I'm uh, hoping I can... If I see some, I can lure them back. Got some pheasants. Ooh, this looks like a mountainy area, so... Promising. Oh, let's see what time it is. Two in the afternoon. Got a ravine here. Oh, generating some terrain. Looks like a uh, river, possibly. Alright, we're not going to turn on mob radar. We're just going to see if we can find some sheep. That one is raining. That's not very good. Oh! Little like, oh, it's a thunderstorm. What's the actual... Yeah, we're in the mountains biome, so I think that is the uh, the most common place for uh, sheep to spawn. We'll just have to keep looking. And we should keep our eyes out for a lot of things, though. You know? Ores. New types of rock. What kind of rock is this? Is this still... Oh, it's, is it nice? Yes, it is. Nice is a metamorphic rock, very similar to slate, and uh, I'm pretty sure you find about the same... Ooh, we have some ores here. About the same... Uh... Actually, this might, that might be graphite, given that this is metamorphic rock in the color. If so, that'd be a really good find. Graphite is one of the uh, required minerals, it looks like graphite, for... Uh... For making a uh, fire, fire clay. Yep, it's graphite. Nice. All right, so that's good to see. It's at least something we can. Uh, something that's come to this trip so far. Lag. Uh, 
I do not like spiders. Spiders are very dangerous. They're fast and they do a lot of damage. Skeletons are not good either. When it comes to it, we may actually just have to uh, find a tree and hide in it. Which is, I think, what we're going to do. Um, I will... Uh, I'm going to wait out the night here. Hopefully the rain will stop. And I'll uh, see you guys later. Alright guys, uh, as you can see, it's not quite morning yet. It's uh, 1 in the morning. But uh, I thought I could take this time to answer another question I got in the comments. Um, people were wondering uh, how skills work. Alright, so... Just in general, we have, obviously, the four smithing skills, agriculture and cooking. So, I guess I, I kind of, I talked about earlier how cooking works. Cooking is actually, uh, out of all of the skills, is the one that, uh, that you see benefit from the slowest. You'll act, you have to get your cooking skill higher than any other skill before you'll actually start to see any sort of uh, bonus you'll uh or effect from it. So like I mentioned before, um, a higher co cooking level will increase the uh, the flavor of the food, the meals that you make, like I showed you in the meal table. And um, the flavor, like I said before, is the uh, the saturation. So your uh, hunger bar will drop slower when you have better tasting meals. Um, agriculture is, uh, the higher your agriculture, the higher the chance to get an extra seed. Um, when you're harvesting your crops, which allows you to expand your farm. And um, smithing gives you bonuses to the uh, the tools and uh, tools, armor and weapons that, you, that you're crafting. Um, I'd actually have to get back to you on the specific function of the, uh, the smithing skills. I remember when I was talking to Box about uh, how we wanted to implement it, um, but I'm not entirely sure if if that is how it ended up being. The original idea is that the uh, your, so a general smithing goes up whenever you make anything on an anvil. Tool smithing goes up when you make tools. Armor goes up when you make armor. Weapons goes up when you make weapons. And um, so a combination of your general smithing skill and your and the specific uh, the specific tool armor or weapon skill will uh, give a bonus to the uh, the metal items that you make on the anvil. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that bonus is. Originally we talked about, like for example, weapons would do a little more damage or have a little more health or something, or tools might, might uh, like a pick might mine a little faster. But uh, in all honesty, I'd have to uh, look up how that works exactly before I could, before I could accurately uh, uh, say anything about that. Alright, so it's nearly morning. The sun is just rising now. Still raining, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully we can find some sheep before the end of the episode. All right, when it changes, when the day changes, we're gonna we're gonna go for it. All right, come on, the day hasn't already changed, right? Like, I'm not imagining it. It was third of August earlier. If it gets to hours, if it, uh, the hour goes to six, then we'll know that uh, it's either not going to change or it already has. Um, I mean, there we go. So, yeah, I, I knew it wasn't crazy. All right. So we found some graphite. Now we're looking for some sheep. We don't want to go too far away from the mountains. Oh no. This is bad news, guys. That's a bear. Um, it is a poorly, <laughs> poorly modeled bear. I can say that it was actually one of the uh, the first models that I ever made way, way back. Um, and I didn't really know how to make models back then. I have since made a much better and updated bear model. You can see it on my. You, I actually uh, tweeted about it um, a few weeks back, back when I made it. So if you want to go check out that tweet, see the picture, you can check out the model. 
We uh, don't yet have a texture, so it hasn't been implemented into the game. But it's coming. Bears will look better. Uh, all right. Uh, bears, bears are hostile. They will attack players. They will do 175 damage. If we want to check, I currently have 607 health, so 175 would not be fun. Uh, we gotta kill this zombie. Alright, let's look for some sheep. Looks like we have a lot of mountains around here. And that is a very tall mountain. I don't know when the last time I saw a mountain that tall was. Wow. Alright, um, some soybeans. Actually, those would be useful, given that uh, they provide protein. Ooh, so that's, a, that's a long drop. I'm actually going to go up a little higher on the mountain, see if we can't find anything. Get a better vantage point, at least. Ah, oh, that's another thing. Um, you guys might have noticed, the higher you go on a mountain, you'll actually start to get to uh, parts where there's no longer any grass. Um, TFC sort of uh, temperature-wise models. Well, you'll also notice that uh, temperature goes down pretty fast as you go up. Yeah, we're, so we're, we try to model um, a specific uh, portion of the atmosphere. I mean, we only have up to 256 blocks to work with. Uh, and in real life, that is, you know, barely a hill. So we've kind of uh, compressed the atmosphere down so that you get more drastic changes as you go up. And uh, you get uh, naked mountaintops like that. I'm going to be very careful not to fall down this cliff. I'm just looking for some sheep. So we got some guys in armor over there. Not seeing any. Not off the bat anyway. Might uh, head over in this direction. Alright, let's go. Gotta get across the river though. Ooh, uh, yeah, 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 okay. Ooh, there's some soybeans on this side. Nice. Just wanna grab these. How much should we get? 32.8 ounces. Nice. Nice. Alright. Um, hmm. Just wondering what the best way to get down this is, you know, without uh, without dying. Hmm. I'm almost there. We go. Messed up that jump there, cause I'm thirsty. And a bit hungry. Where are those soybeans? There's the soybeans. Good to get some protein back. Yeah, look at this doing to my uh, health bar. Alright. Oh, is that uh, coal? So we should really check that out. It's either coal or uh, jet. I'd just like to know what kind of rock this is. Uh, uh, got a bit of dirt. Uh, grab my shovel. That, oh. 
getting a little sidetracked here, but uh, all right, let's see what kind of uh, rock this is. Rock salt. How nice. We can use that to um, we can crush it down and use it to preserve our food. All right, this is yeah, this is jet, so it's not really uh, worth. Well, the rock salt's worth it. But the uh, the jet is not. This looks like gold. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna mark gold. This gold can be useful. All right. Looks like we have some more. Oh, that looks like kalanite. Kalanite is the other mineral that you need to make uh, fire clay. Nice soybeans. All right, so if this is kalanite, we're gonna. Oh, but I can't reach it. You know what, I'm pretty sure, I'm almost positive that's Kalanite. I don't think there's anything else that has that texture. So we're just gonna mark it. But I'm okay, I just make sure I don't see anything on that hill. Um, all right, we gotta get back to looking for those sheep. may run the episode a little bit long, I don't know, to look for some because uh, I'd really like to find them. Platinum, we do not need platinum. Lots of platinum. Looks like Galena. Yeah, we don't need winter green. Hmm. Not seeing any sheep. I mean, even without the sheep, though, we've uh, we found a lot this episode. We got rock salt, kalanite, graphite. Few pheasants. Is this still mountains? Yeah, this is still mountains. So it's possible to find some sheep down here, I guess. Looks like uh, yellow bell peppers. Blackberries. Ah, no, ah, please, please stop. Just take the bush. Right, yeah, I don't know. I think our, uh, our sh oh, ooh. What are you? Sylvite. Sylvite, isn't that... I doubt there's any more than if it's in this boulder here, but we should mark it anyway. I'm... I'm, confl I'm conflicted. I think Sylvite is uh, for fertilizer. I'll have to check on that. Yep, 
Yeah. Don't quote me on that. Oh, gold. And then an, uh, armored skeleton. We're going to avoid him. Yep, native gold nuggets. Pheasant, a zombie. Let's make sure to grab the experience. Yep, I think we're uh, coming to the end of the episode right now, guys. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.